how many other services do you uh, talk with? Uh, I see referring people, so like mental health teams, like proper mental health teams. So like you've got ADHD team, CMHT, CPE, those sort of services. Do you properly liaise with them and stuff like that? Because my personal experience with these sort of groups, there's not been proper communication between the, between the groups. And I've found that I've had to keep repeating myself and repeat myself. And in all fairness, it does more damage mentally because you're having to repeat the bad stuff. And it just goes around your head more and more and more. Yeah, so um, obviously we, we do work closely, particularly with the CMHTs. And for instance, in Newbury, our crisis team and our home treatment team sit within the CMHT, so they're very closely linked together. Um, CPE we work very closely with as well, they refer it to our service. Um, the point you make about being continually asked to go over things, I think, can be an issue. Uh, part of that is because each service does its own assessment um, and we have to kind of get a baseline of where that person is at that point in time to see what we can we can do to help them. But uh, I, I accept that you do constantly get asked uh, what's your age, what's your date of birth, where do them types of questions. We are trying to work on you know, just concentrating on the questions we, we do need to put the answers to to enable us to, to work with you on a care plan and work your way forward. Um, but yes, we are, I mean, I have about probably 50 to 60 different members of staff from psychiatrists, psychologists, OT, social workers, nurses, etc. So it is a big team. And the other teams are quite big as well. So. You know, sometimes there can be issues with communication, but we, we, we do work, we are working a lot closer to try and smooth that out and to try to, the, you know, service users, you have a much smoother pathway through our system.